Hello my sunshines, rainbows, orchids and moonlights. I hope that you are doing okay today. So, just catching my breath again. You know what I'm like, I come up the stairs to start recording and then we've been like 18 weeks pregnant. I just like completely lose my breath. It drives me mad. So you just have to bear with me as I catch my breath and we go into the reading for you. So, what are their thoughts for you? That's what we're going to do today. And I want to use two decks that, uh, decks, sorry, that really give us that depth of this reading. So, deck number one is the Silver Witchcraft Tarot. And deck number two is the Pagan Otherworlds Tarot. Now, this one, the Pagan Otherworlds Tarot, is a deck that I use solely for myself, okay? So, it's one of my personal decks. But this morning, I felt the need to share it with you. Okay, I felt like I wanted to share this deck. It feels like it has messages to communicate with you all. So this is why we're using my, one of my personal decks. You're very lucky. <laughs> Don't happen ever um, for the reading today. So number one and number two. New camera. So I keep forgetting I have to move you nearer. Okay, let's go. So their thoughts about you with deck number one. So you can ask about a specific person. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a lover. It can be a friend. It can be a friend with benefits. It can be a situationship. It can be the whole caboodle. Um, but we will see what this person is specifically thinking about you. And I know recently we've had quite a lot of shadow energy coming up um, for people like those of you that have been in these kind of situationships have really been facing a lot of a lot of demons, really, but like external demons. So to do with situations, to do with circumstances, to do with other people. There has been this great upheaval in the recent months between you all as you've been really battling that. Um, so it's going to be very interesting to see what the cards say today. Right, here we go. Are you ready? Those of you that read Tarot, Judgment, Nine of Swords, Three of Pence. Three of Wands, Page of Cups. Okay, starting off with two threes. Two threes. So the three, um, whenever we kind of look at a three, it is a higher frequency number. So this is more likely to be a divine connection. Now, the fact that you had two threes is showing that there is this kind of progression route going on between the two of you because you haven't got one. You've got the progression route of two, but we're not quite at a three, three, three. OK, so what that means is we're not quite where you want to be in this connection with this person at this point in time. A three, three, three really stands for this kind of Jeshua energy, Jesus energy, the alignment of you guys. That is where the three, three, three will come in. So it's like your energies are incorporated with one another. You are linking in together, but you're probably not at the right place that you want to be at the moment. And I feel that the person you're asking about feels the same. So they like you. There are emotions, there are feelings, but you're just not quite aligned with each other on where the situation is going. And the reason why is because there's this lovely nine of swords. So when we get a nine of swords, this speaks about these kind of anxieties, these fears, these sometimes kind of mental health issues as well can come into a nine of swords card. You've got self-confidence issues, things keeping you awake at night, over-processing, over-analyzing. And this is where your person is. So we can see that they can see the future of you with the two threes over here, three of pence, three of ones. They can work it through. They can create actions towards you. But we have this sense of fear going on with it. And this fear is what's stopping the situation moving forward. So let's see why they have fear. Let's see what the fears are. What are the fears in this connection? Yeah, so they want to take it slowly, Knight of Pants, okay? They want to take it slowly, go at their own pace, take time to get to know you, Spirit are saying. And I just got a Taylor Swift song, and it's Ed Sheeran here, I cannot sound, uh, sorry. But that I just want to know you better. So that's coming up as their song for you. So they're taking their time to get to know you. We've also got Temperance jumping out at the end. So they see that there is a future, they see that there is potential for you guys, but they just want to go at a slow speed, get to know you better and take their time with it all. Which is why your energies aren't quite aligning because you guys want to go like, yeah, let's get this working, let's move, let's move, let's move, I really like you, fancy you, let's do this, let's do that, okay? So you've got a bit of delays, you've got a bit of stagnancy, but overall the feeling is positive. Now with judgment and the page of cups coming over here, this is them talking about having a renewal, making a choice. And with the page of cups coming next to it, it's talking about romantic relationships really coming through 
okay so brand new relationships so there's a lot of potential in this lots of potential um the three of pence three of wands sometimes like i said other circumstances will be taking into the account in this situation so it could be that your person has got toxic exes it could be that they have issues uh, with codependency it could be that they've got trauma from being a kid it could be that there's people influencing their life family friends um exes current girlfriends stuff thing there is an influence of other people on here which can also stagnate the energy a little bit especially if people are getting into their head and saying with the, with the nine of swords over here it's very much in your head card um they could be saying oh well you know this can't might not be the right person for you it you know we've made this mistake before do you want to do it again yada 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 so you've got other people kind of influencing this situation as well potentially or situations influencing it could just be that they're really bogged down with work at the moment as well so they can't prioritize you which again is the slow steady movement now what spirit are saying with this is they're actually challenging you a little bit because they're thinking if they take a little bit and not give you too much at this point in time they want to see how you react to that because if you go full on guns blazing messaging them loads and things like that they'll be like right this isn't the right person for me okay so it's best to go at their speed see what happens take it slow and let the let the energies kind of play out there is a lot of potential over here okay there's a lot of growth um they see that there's a lot of growth they see that they want to that, you know that you guys can make it can make it work between you both there are emotions here as well with it being cups energy okay our emotions as well it's just a little bit of a mixed bag on that kind of lack of commitment really so their thoughts about you let's summarize let's have a summarize they really like you fancy you good attraction in their head over it all wanting to take their time with it get to know you better before giving you that commitment you've got that the not quite aligning but there is progression routes between the two of you that you that they can see and they might be testing you a little bit if they do go quiet to just see how you react because they don't want to get themselves in toxic situations where they feel well they feel a bit suffocated like they did before in a previous relationship that's coming up that's not all of you but that's some of you guys and that's that number one so if you need me it was really quick wasn't it? <laughs> if you need me uh find me on instagram mystic love tarot got a little blue tick blue like this um you can find me there and i do same day return on voice note readings i also have spaces for video readings next week um my son's starting nursery next week so i've got i've got time to do more readings for you guys yay finally uh, for a couple of months until this one comes anyway <laughs> um but yeah so i am about if you need me just drop me a message and that is deck number one okay my loves so we're going to shoot over to deck number two now so if you just tapped in tuned in turned on i was saying that this deck here this pagan other worlds tarot um is actually one of my personal decks that i've never used in people's readings before but it feels like the deck wants to communicate with you guys so is why we are using this deck and it's a beautiful deck especially being pagan myself it helps me it gives me very very deep answers to your questions or to my questions really now today to yours okay let's have a look what is your person that you're asking about thinking of you ten of wands four of cups i did a talk the other day um, and and someone said to me they said it amazes me when you do the tarot, how the cards just jump out at you. And I said, well, it's the influence of the spiritual energies so they can pick the spirit, connect with the cards and flick them out for you. But the downside of it is when you have a pregnancy bump, getting up and down off the floor isn't always the easiest. Okay, what are their thoughts about you? Okay. Right. So you are in potentially a bit of a sticky situation. You're going to feel as if things are happening and then stopping. So the cards that you've got, ten of wands, four of cups, page of pence, any beautiful page of pence, king of cups, and then right at the end, here it comes, the eight of cups. So you are probably getting a bit of hot and cold treatment at this moment in time. You probably do not know where you stand with your person. And that's because they don't really know where you stand with them as well. We've got quite a lot of cups energy. Okay, so we're talking about emotional side of things. There are emotions here. 
there are feelings here but it's very like i said back and forth to and throw spirit are telling me that it was a, a very intense chemistry between you guys and when there is an intense chemistry, you can almost get yourself in a hurricane tornado situation. And I just got the Eminem song, Love The Way You Lie. Now, what I like about that music video, taking me back in time now, um, is that when she get the, there's a number on the hand to begin with, and the number is 555. So this always kind of signifies changes that are happening. So the fact that Spirit would draw me to that specific song and talk about hurricanes and tornadoes, that fire energy, and the 555 showing that there is the sexual chemistry, there is a very strong connection, and you guys are undergoing changes at the moment. And Spirit saying to me very clearly, nothing can stay the same forever. Okay, you ha there has to be changes in this relationship because you have been going backwards and forwards and things haven't been working out the way that it's been playing out. So there needs to be these changes and this is where this hurricane tornado energy is coming in. Now you have no cards of arguments, you haven't got that, but Spirit are telling me that you might find that you have a couple of towers, okay, big T tower, little T tower, big T towers when everything falls apart around you. So these are the divorces, the breakups, the, the really nasty, nasty stuff in life. Little T tower the arguments, the conflicts, the tension, the fallouts, etc. So you might find that you and your person have this hurricane tornado and you keep them in the middle and it goes and causes this eruption between the two of you. It causes this kind of quite a lot of damage because things can't stay the same forever. So just be prepared in coming weeks or months that it might get a little bit tits up. And if it does, you know where I am, okay? Just find me on Instagram, Mystic Lotari, little blue tick. So, your person's thoughts about you. Let's get my, back to the question in hand because I'm going into the, the future. Ten of Wands. They're feeling quite burdened by the situation at the moment. It's weighing heavily on their shoulders. Now, I feel that they have a lot going on in their life at this moment in time. And I don't feel you're the only thing that's weighing on their shoulders. But they're not really sure what they're doing with the life and where they're going with the life. And I almost feel it's not a midlife crisis. That's a bit too much of a strong word. But I feel like they are really assessing their pathways and what direction they want to go down next. And that includes whether the pathway has a space for you. Some of you guys, your people are thinking about traveling, especially now things have shifted in this world a little bit. There is this kind of, I'm looking for a thirst for life. I'm looking for the next steps of my life. I feel like I'm existing and not living. So your person's really experiencing dark nights of the soul and trying to work out what pathway to tread next, okay? So when it comes to you and their thoughts about you, this burdens them because they think that they can see the potential of a relationship with you but they don't know if it is something that they're looking for long term. And that's not just with you, that's just with relationships in general. And that's where this feeling of fed up comes in, okay? And that'll be you guys as well. So you've got a mirroring energy here, so likely to be a higher dimensional relationship. Mirroring one another. There's the potential with the three of cups over the top, potential for the celebration, but with the one cup to the side, it's like can't see the wood through the trees yet, can't quite get that. And I just got the Taylor Swift. We always get Taylor Swift songs because I'm a big Swifty. Are we out of the woods yet? Okay, so that is coming up as a song. It's like, where is it going? What happens next? This is where your person's thoughts are. They are very confused overall. Doesn't mean they don't like you because we have the King of Cups and Page of Pentacles over here. Okay, so we've got them in their emotional energy. We know I talked about emotions already with the cups. Very strong emotions for you. Very strong feelings for you. Page of Pence coming in saying, yeah, I've got messages. I can offer you stability. I can give you what you want. But you're going to feel like you've got whiplash with the Eight of Cups next to her as it's going backwards and forwards. Okay, and the reason why I said is because, you know, they're burdened over here about, is this the right thing? Do I want a relationship? Where do I want to go with my life? Dark nights of the soul, what happens next? Now, it doesn't mean they don't like you, but they do just kind of want to expand themselves which is great, you know, expand yourself, but you can also do that with someone by your side. That's why I kind of roll my eyes. There is a love here, okay? There is a strong emotions here, um, but they haven't allowed them to really flourish yet. Flourish is the right word. Doesn't mean they don't like you. They do like you. They just don't really know what they're doing with their life. So you are kind of being put on the back burner a little bit. Um, thoughts over it all. Yeah, they're just kind of riding with it. <laughs> 
but it just showed me like i just got that like, oh we're going back in time now ronan keating life is a roller coaster babe just gotta ride it, it takes me back to the 90s yes i am an 80s child um <laughs> Um, so yeah, I mean, Ronan Keating, you just got, life is a roller coaster, just got to ride it. They are going with the flow of the situation. You know, they're not planning too far in advance. They're just like, well, we'll see what happens. We'll see where it goes. And if you want to look at the future of you and your King of Cups, just give me a shout and we can have a look at those future energies for you. We've definitely got on here travel coming up as an, as an option. So they are thinking of moving, traveling, changing. And that is what is stagnating the situation between you guys as well. But their thoughts are there. They just, perhaps the burdens of the thoughts are, are a bit more intense at this point in time than the emotional side of things because they just want to make sure that they're making the right choices. And on that point, your person is a solution person. So they're always looking for solutions. So when it comes to working with empathy, love and emotions, solution will be where they go first. And that can make you feel, again, a bit five of pence like you're out in the cold. Okay, be prepared that things could go a little bit tits up. But through it being going tits up, you can work out what pathway and direction you want to go down next. That's step number two. So give me a shout if you need me. Instagram, Mr. Latari, little blue tick. I'll put all the comment uh, things in the description anyway, comments so you can find me. I'm pretty findable. Anyway, you go and type in Mr. Latari, you will find me. My contact form is not working on my website. I have contacted the people my web people to find out why um, and they are looking into it now so you can't get me through there but you can find me through email and instagram i'm pretty pretty findable just ali it's me and then just mr love tarry find mr love tarry you find me love you guys speak to you later ciao